citizens of the world, we are anonymous. The Muslim Brotherhood has been a source of plight and chaos across all platforms of social and political order. Their actions have brought civil war in Syria. National unrest across Egypt. And fear. Among the citizens of the world, primarily those in the United States, Canada and the United Kingdom, Yet this is a situation that needs to be inspected upon the citizens of all nations around the world, regardless of flag or ideology. Let us recap. The Muslim Brotherhood started as a benevolent group of people with fair and just intentions. However, as decades went by, corruption seized its mission of good, and turned it into a power-hungry organization bent on taking over the sovereignty of Arab states in its quest to seize power from them. They say this is necessary in order to unify the Muslim nations into one Islamic state, which is a lie, and they were very close in doing so, almost turning Egypt into another Iran, controlled by religion and shunning expression. To them, expression against government is expression against God and therefore, that person must be shut down. This is neither Islamic, nor of brotherly qualities. Their tactics are very similar to tactics used by the Church of Scientology and ideas implemented in Freemasonry. A person may join only when presented in front of the Grand Master, or the Murshid, and is ordered to adhere to a solemn vow, to follow all orders of the Murshid, without hesitation. They claim to be any Freemasonry, however they follow distinct principles taken from it. If you were to leave the Brotherhood or present any threat to it, they would take that to offense and begin to intimidate you and place your life, as well as your loved ones, in danger. This has been experienced by many former followers of the Brotherhood, including the citizens of the Middle East as an entity that have been abused and verbally threatened by hired thugs, as well as those in other countries around the world who realized they made a terrible mistake. The US, UK, and Canada respectively. Kidnaps and disappearances happen daily in each continent when the Brotherhood sees any individual as a potential threat or offense to their motives and plans. The Muslim Brotherhood is a threat to the people of not just the Middle East, but of mankind, and to the people we have claimed to protect and serve, and inevitably, the Brotherhood is a problem that must be dealt with. It has been discovered that the only reason the Muslim Brotherhood has not been deemed a terrorist group by the United States government is because both entities have respective socio-political ties that furthermore bargain with national sovereignty in order to garner money and resources in order to negotiate for business instead of rights in order for finance and an economical structure for themselves and not for the people they claim to serve the people they claim to protect, which, without doubt, are lies, all of their beliefs and policies, broken, by power, greed, and corruption. To those listening now, this is not a threat towards the religion of Islam, nor is this a threat towards its beliefs and path. The Muslim Brotherhood, as well as terrorist organizations affiliating with the religion, defiled and destroyed the very essence of what the religion preaches. Such actions are not based off the essence of the religion of Islam. They are based of acts that involve revenge, power, and fear. As we've stated, these organizations, specifically the Brotherhood, have perished the religion's beliefs and message. Therefore, the Muslim Brotherhood does not represent the true ideals of Islam. In our collective, there are some of us who are Muslim, Yet we fight against the corruption in society and the injustice that comes with it. The Muslim Brotherhood has done this countless times. They use the religion as a cloak to garner support. And with that in mind, their political motives begin. Business has its increase due to foreign negotiations. The Muslim Brotherhood are not Muslims, nor are they a brotherhood. This is an organization that does not care if they violate their beliefs and ideology. 
This is an organization that has hijacked the second revolution of the Egyptian people. This is an organization that has threatened citizens across all nations. This is an organization that needs to cease. We have had enough of the Brotherhood's lies and their petty deceit. They have brought upon the citizens of all nations from around the world. We are anonymous and we are prepared to extinguish them from the internet and take the step towards banishing their vile existence from our planet. Therefore, Anonymous has decided to destroy the Muslim Brotherhood once and for all. We shall proceed to dismantle any form of its organization from the internet. Nothing will stop us, and we will show no mercy. We are openly declaring cyber war against the Muslim Brotherhood and its affiliates. The second phase of Operation Brotherhood take it down. Engaged. We are Anonymous. We are Legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us once again.